So morning sickness actually occurs in about 50 to 90% of all pregnancies. And morning sickness can just be simply nausea with or without vomiting. A majority of the women just have nausea alone, sort of sick feeling in their tummy, um, what we call early satiety, so not feeling very hungry, a little bit full, and just um, more of a sour stomach. Morning sickness in pregnancy, although it is so common, very few women actually have more of the severe type. We call this hyperemesis in pregnancy. Um, a very small, maybe 5% of women will qualify for this actual diagnosis. And what it is, is it's usually nausea, again, with or without vomiting. They don't necessarily have to have the vomiting. But if they do have the vomiting, it leads to severe dehydration. And dehydration itself leads to another host of problems. Um, these women oft oftentimes will experience a 5% weight reduction, um, what we call electrolyte abnormalities, so they may have um, low potassium, calcium, or magnesium, things that are very important for all of their organs to function. And so this is what we really worry about when we see dehydration. Again, the women who are just nauseated alone, sometimes they'll limit their intake of fluids because they feel so bad. So these women also can be deceiving. They may not be reporting vomiting, but they can get severe dehydration as well. Well, I think the, what we, the mechanism behind morning sickness or hyperemesis in pregnancy is really poorly understood. We sort of speculate that it's caused by hormone fluctuation. These hormone levels, which tend to elevate very quickly in the first trimester, um, slow down or relax smooth muscle. And that smooth muscle is in the bowel, or it's in the bowel wall, it's also in the stomach. So your stomach doesn't empty. So say you eat a very large meal and your stomach doesn't really empty, you're gonna feel that sense of fullness or sour stomach, which leads to nausea for quite some time. So we speculate that it's the hormone production. Now, we think that some women get it more severe than others, and that can be age can play into it, multiple gestations, a twin pregnancy or triplets, having more than one baby in there, um, sort of impinging upon your stomach and the room for your food to empty can lead to more severe nausea and vomiting. And then we also think that there might be a genetic component as well. We're really not sure if it's more gender specific or not, but anecdotally in my practice, I do find that women who are having, say a girl, have a lot more morning sickness, or babies that have a lot more hair at birth, tend to have a lot more heartburn. Mommies experience a lot more heartburn during their pregnancy. So there may be something to the gender of the child that has to do um, with mommy's morning sickness. Fortunately, treatment for morning sickness is very simple for a woman. Um, we ask that she do small, frequent meals. It's probably one of the biggest things that will help her. Um, again, because it, it goes back to how long it takes for their stomach to empty. So if they, in, if they intake a large meal, they're going to have a lot more nausea. So eating small, frequent snacks throughout the day really does help. Um, ginger is a great thing that they can buy in the grocery store. Um, ginger soda, there's ginger flavored tablets that they do. Um, something that I like in my practice, vitamin B6 has been shown to help. So really supplementation with vitamin B6 alone will help um, minimize some of that nausea. And then women who go on to need something prescription, we tend to give them some medications that are very safe in pregnancy, um, causing no harm to the baby that they can take throughout their entire pregnancy. Um, and they usually require a prescription for these. Well, everybody wants to know when they're going to start feeling better, and they're just desperate for just some relief from it in the first trimester. Typically, most mothers, around 12 to 14 weeks, will have a lot of resolution in their symptoms. Along with the nausea, unfortunately, comes a large amount of fatigue as well. And so both of those symptoms tend to get better around 12 weeks and majority by 14 weeks. If you have morning sickness beyond 14 weeks in your pregnancy, this does not mean that there's actually um, something wrong with you, but there are a few unlucky women who go on to have morning sickness their entire pregnancy.